haven't seen that game in years. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. I need a shovel to dig this up. Time to press ahead. Always makes my day better. How can I help? Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Think of it as tribute. 
The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Aside from the obvious. This again. You're persistent. I'll give you that. you're resorting to threats. The answer's the same as before. You'll know if I have anything to tell you. going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. <laughs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed, so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. All right. As I said, Shah is my patron, my mistress, goddess of darkness and loss. I assume you've heard of her? My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. 
the institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Well, if that troubles you, perhaps you should fetch the bailiff to arrest me. Ah, but there's no bailiff here, is there? Just leagues of wilderness and the dangers lurking within. We're in this together, but I'll happily go it alone. My faith will keep me company. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe... Just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, 
Then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shao will reward me when I succeed. Fine. What's on your mind? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the North Lloyd. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. 
I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Go ahead. I'm listening. Wits and blades always shop. Still alive, so that's progress. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. as a rock, but world class are tearing the throats out of we ones, she is. Rest of her litter's inside in the pens. Beautiful beasts. Be a shame if you came all this way without having a look. But I can't let you pass just like that. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colors. 
Nice to have her this across the mug. Oh, to do it. <laughs> Whatever calls you. Enjoy the festivities. You earned it. Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Down in the pits, no less. Sounds ominous among creatures that love blood sports. Better step to it. Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Rip the guts out of Wackeen's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some Duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Second tadpole than do that. <laughs> what a stunner you are, mate. Rip couldn't guard his nose from his fingers. Hey, fair! Yeah, quit moaning. Hey, moaning if it's true. These big ghosts could guard the place themselves. Let us off the hook. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws here. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. That's an unusual artifact you have there, Shadowheart. A most unlikely protector. I don't 
don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. My home. The cloister of Shah followers. Hidden in the city. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the Chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. But you still do not know what it even is. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. You got something jingling in your pocket? Looking to spend it?
Been a pleasure, your greatness. Yeah, what kind of you must do wretched behavior? A new age is dawning with goblets of trust. These great mortals all hinders to quick. The true souls are coming, the loudness are quick. Here follow my fall and wine for great glory. Or draw rags limbs. Bakers and blades in the quarry. Be you beguiling or be you beheaded. Goblin kind will tease you and throat you when redded. His name is Draw Ragsland, his voice absolute. His troops will disarm you and grow you the truth. Laugh if you dare, recoil if you must. A new age is dawning with goblins of trust. Mountains, great mortals, all hinders to quick. Yeah. The true souls are coming, their loudness awake. Here follow, I cry far and wide for great glory. Draw Ragsland's best makers and blades in the quarry. Be you beguiling, or be you beheaded? From the king's rest, goblin kind will tease you and throat you when redded. His name is Draw Ragsland, his voice absolute. His troops will disarm you and grow you the truth. Laugh if you dare, recoil if you must. A new age is dawning with goblins of trust. Mountains, great mortals, all kinders to quake. The true souls are coming, their loudness awake. Yes. Here follow, I fall and wine for great glory. Draw Ragsland's best makers of blades in the quarry. Be you beguiling, or be you beheaded? Goblin kind will tease you and throat you when redded. His name is Draw Ragsland, his voice absolute. Boy, his troops will disarm you and grow you the truth. Laugh if you dare, recoil if you must. A new age is dawning with goblins of trust. Mountains, great mortals, all hinders to quake. 
The true souls are coming, the loungers awake. Here follow, I cry far and wide for great glory. Draw Reichsland's best fake as a blade in the quarry. Be you beguiling, or be you beheaded? Keep that bird. Goblin kind bird will tease you and frolk you when redden. His name is Draw Ragsland, his voice absolute. His troops will disarm you and draw you the truth. Not if you dare recoil if you must. A new we age is dawning with confidence and trust. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoners' welfare. Let's hope we find them in one piece. Absolutes work! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. be a bit more specific though, mate. Absolute's got a few favourites around here. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Do you now? Might feel different once she puts a burning brand to ya. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burnt goblin arse. <laughs> oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. the understatement, but yes, let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. 
she too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. A creature? There's definitely something rotten in there. Let me take a closer look. I ain't seen anything like this before. Hey, Ain't nothing wrong with me. You're the one who's sick in the head. No need to panic, though. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! Like us. We want them Why do they think they're talking yeah. to a god? I wait good enough for the Absolute. That's how we would have ended up had our Nautiloid not been attacked. That the jingle of coin, I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader. Just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Ask the drow they're all bowing to. That glint in her eye is bad news for someone. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, something to trade or what?
pleasure. Goblins aren't known for their cleanliness, but by Mistress Mantle, this place is rotten. The fewer breaths we take here, the better. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere for now. for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect, or some more cunning. <laughs> <laughs> 